morning. So we're on the banks of the Trent today. Um, we're in front of the suspension bridge. When we're catching roach, dace, perch on Empen Castor. It's a beautiful middle October morning. We're getting lots of bites. Empen Castor is my preferred bait today. It's a bit late in the year for, October, uh, for tears in October. It's not, uh, you will catch on it. So I've got some in the bag to try. But I've come to one of the deepest places, some of the deepest stretches on the Trent, around Nottinghamshire, around Nottingham city centre anyway. Because I'm looking for them really big roach. I'm looking for the pound plus fish. So, I've been trying all different venues and I've had the odd, the odd decent fish. I'm looking for where the shoals are held up. At the moment, I'm catching lovely three, three, four ounce fish. It's a biter chuck at the moment. Probably had eight or nine already in 15 minutes. fishing single caster on an 18 and we're in about 10 foot of water though and it slopes away if you've never fished here before the boats moor up and it's really deep on the county all side it's shallower on the opposite bank on the embankment side and we can fish very close to our rod end here because it's so deep last week we had a flush through we had some rain and it's washed through the river it's got a little bit of color in it so i'm hoping we can get the big fish to come in closer in these particular pegs, there's a little bit of a backwater. Uh, because of the support for the bridge. So it creates lots of opportunities for the fish to feed in slack water and a bit more in the flow, if that's where they prefer to be. Uh, they are great pegs. But hardly anybody ever fishes here. So, hopefully we can show you a bit more how good the free fishing is around Nottinghamshire. I mean, the flow is only very gentle at the moment. You could have fished it with a pole or a waggler, but just enough flow to run a stick float down. And it's a beautiful Sunday morning too. Barely a breath of wind. Sun's not quite come over the buildings at the back of us yet. And the weather forecast is good as well, so it's a lovely day for trotting a float down. I'm just feeding 30, 40 bits of castor and emp to start with. Plenty of fish down there, so get some feeding. Just the last few. We'll have a look at the rig in a bit. I remember when we were kids, I used to come down, fish the county all side, a little bit further down, and it was just full of fish, really big bags of fish every time you came, mainly on empen tears. That was the cheap bait then in those days, in the, in the 80s, when the Trent was in his absolute heyday. But there's still lots of fish in the Trent at the moment. But, uh, If anything, there's a slight upstream breeze which helps with stick float fitting, fishing. Oh, yeah. 
feels like a nice fish. Don't come off. <laughs> Just went a little bit further out on that one. So I'd probably be about a foot or so off bottom. Oh, it's a perch. Thought it was going to be a really big roach then. <laughs> it's a nice fish though. Bit of an old warrior, this one. Like I said, a few battles in its time. Dice. Let's keep the bait going in. Fishing to a ravenous this morning. Not feeding any maggot or any tears at the moment. Just concentrate on them and cast and see what we can get. So I had a session last week and um, they were struggling to, to get bites on tear, really. Um, wasn't in this peg, but. So October sometimes can be a bit iffy for tear. It's a lovely place to fish though, yeah. Deep water off your rod end, full of fish, bited chuck. There's lots of activity here as well. I mean, it's a Sunday morning and the weather's nice, flat, calm, so you can get lots of boats down here. But in these particular swims, because you've got the suspension bridge post, pillar, the boats stay a bit further out from you, so they don't bother you. It doesn't bother the fish, they're used to them. But we used to get really big bags of roach and skimmers in the, on the county all step side when we were kids. Lovely place to fish. I mean, Sunday morning in the 80s, if you got any at nine o'clock, no pegs left. All gone. No to fish. Both sides of the banks, it was full all the way around. That's how good it was. Get some lovely confident bites. A lot of dace in this room, so I'm going to up my feed.
for a bigger handful of baiting. I've got a decent sized float on 5BB, so I can go further out if it starts to get a bit quiet, to start to back off the feed. I can easily fish a bit further out with a float like this. Really big dates now. Three, four ounce ones. I could have put a pole rig on today, I suppose, with Olivette on. Lots of different ways of fishing for these roads. It's just nice to get a stick floating. Ooh, this feels like a nice fish. A little stripey. Certainly a very popular place for Nottinghamshire people to walk, run, feed the ducks. Must be 20 swans on the far bank. You can see that across there. Into the monument, there's about 20 swans over there. Absolutely fantastic fishing in this is. Fish, fish are chuck. Because of the depth of feeding really confidently. A bit of colour in the water from last week's rain. fish. Got perch, perch written all over it, I think. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Biggest one so far. I certainly like the caster, it's perch. Lovely, that one. Pretty close to a pound, that one.
Hopefully we'll catch a few of these perch and the roach will come back. I think at the moment the Trent's in its best form since the 80s. It's only missing the skimmers, I think. We used to get a really big bag of fish, but we had a lot of skimmers in there. You get the odd one, and we'll probably get one or two today, hopefully. But you used to get hundreds of them. So I've just gone a little bit further out on this this cast, just to see if the, the roach have moved a little bit further out. It's a bit big to lift that one. I lift that data and realise how big it actually was. That's a clonking dace. It's a clonker. It's a bit big to lift, but it's in the lip, so. That's a nice roach. That's a clonker. That's a beautiful roach. Plunk. Oh, come off. Don't like losing them. So I've just gone a bit further out now. I've gone past the dace and the perch line. Hopefully the roach have just stepped back a little bit and I can pick them off a few feet further out. That breeze is a bit fresh today when it gets up from northeasterly. So surprisingly, we're catching the dace hooked in the top lip, so the the below when we bait is coming up for it. Come on, sunshine. I want that sun to come up from above these uh, buildings behind us, warm me up a bit. That looks like hard work. Shouldn't be fishing. Let's try and mag it at the moment. Throw a couple on. That's a beauty. Look at that one. You have a chub. That's nice to see. Proper chub. <laughs> Chublet, we will call it. Any little one. But another species. So I've gone a bit quiet on mag on um, caster. I've changed to maggot, <coughs> little fish, so changed to three maggots. I've picked up better dace, a chub, biggest roach of the morning. So I'm not feeding any maggot, just uh, giving them a change of hook bait to look at. Just got a bit finicky on the caster, because I've caught so many fish on them. I mean, 
it's just gone 10 o'clock, so I've been here just over an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes. Just a 40 fish, and easy. Not more. So it's not surprised it's gone a little bit quiet. With perch, roach, bleak, dace, chub. It's at the moment the trend on the embankment. It's a great place to teach your kids to fish. You can bring your kids down for a bit of fishing. Teach them how to catch roach and dace and all small fish because there's so many bites that keep them interested. So I've put some more depth on, gone a bit further out now because it's gone very slow and quiet on the near side lines. But I've had you know over 40 fish in an hour, so it's not surprising. So they're either a little bit spooked close in or you know maybe there's some big predators wandered through the swim. So one a bit further out, I'm going to add a depth on a foot and then another, another foot on. So I'm just experimenting with depths at the moment. That sun's almost round to us. I'm fishing about three rod lengths out at the moment. That breeze has got up. But um, still fish it quite comfortably with a 5BB stick float. The distance is no problem at all. Three rod lengths. Four, five rod lengths. Probably its limit, really. But I found the fish again, just going a bit further out. A nice roach. There's some beauties. But I must be 11 foot deep now. So you're getting to the point with a 13 foot rod, 11 foot's quite a lot, you can just about do it. So now I'm 12 foot deep in the deepest swim. In the in the swim that's three or four wood lengths out. Lots of small fish out there, so I'm putting big pouches of bait in. Hey, we've got a good in. Oh, that's a rarity. Don't get many of these these days. So I've gone right on the bottom now. That the trace part of the well, part of the trace is laying on the bottom. I think. Mr. Gudgeon. Well, that is nice to see. Used to get thousands of them when we were kids. I'm pulling Maggie on, he's almost guaranteed to get a good gym when we were kids. Oh. 
Lots of sirens this morning in Nottinghamshire. The wind's changed its mind a bit now. It's coming into my face. <laughs> Headwind when you float fishing, great fun. That sun's reached us finally. Nice and warm now. It's like they're having a race. Three, two, one, go! Feels like a better fish. Oh, it's a nice roach. In the deeper water. Oh! You see that perch just came up and tried to grab it. Perch was the same size as the roach. It's no wonder the fish get spooked. Oh, that's a lovely fish, this one. Eh? Very quick look at him. Not a monster. Not a monster, but beautiful. Like another nice fish. Oh yes, another decent roach. Looks like we've found a few where they feel a bit safer, a bit further out and on the bottom. So I'm running through to about three and a half, four rod lengths out here, so I've got just about enough flow to trot down properly at this distance. Oh yeah, oh, another clunker. It's like a nice fish. Yeah, and it's another decent roach as well. Yeah, Tim, full and perch come after it. Oh, it's a lovely fish. Proper roach, these are. for a fish. Absolutely stunning. So it certainly paid off searching from further out and going right down on the depth. Some great days at that depth as well. Oh, 
Not a good roach. Isn't too big to lift. Big patch of casters. Bit of empin, but mainly casters. Oh yeah, coming to the caster at the moment. Just about liftable. Oh, beauty. It's a long sweeping flick with a 12 foot rig. But I can only do it because I've got the 5BB float on. Couldn't do it with a well lighter float. Oh, yeah, another clunker. So we've been here just over two hours now. Um, we've got 60 fish, I think. It's gone 11 o'clock. It's been, been superb possession, really. A couple of hours. It's full of fish. Dragon boats too. They're not rowing very fast, are they? Headwind now making it very tough. Right then, rig wise, got a size 18 hook on, three pound line, one dropper on the trace. And I've got a swivel and a four number nine, so that's my bottom bulk. I've got a sped bulk system just for casting. 
I've got another bulk about eight inches away, another bulk about three, about a foot away. So I've got a triple bulk system, which means the line spreads out even when it lands in the water quite nicely, but still goes down very quickly and tries to miss the dace out and the bleak high up in the water. You could, there's various there's ways you could fish it with an olive you put all the bulk together. Um, I like to spread it out because then I seem to get to, the rig lands in the water as a three bulk system. So it lands three apart. Then as you go up the rig, 12 foot up the rig, I've got a 5BB trending stick float. Dome top, very, he very heavy duty, uh, but goes under very easily. I've shot it up a little bit so we can see it on the foot today. But if you notice on there, I've got four rubbers on that. Four rubbers. That means it grips the line really tightly. And if I lose a rubber, I've still got one to replace it with. Very important that. Plenty of rubbers on there to, to grip the line. And that's the rig. The three bulk system gives it plenty of casting weight. We've been a 5BB. Makes the rig very flexible in this situation. Started out really close in, and ended up going a lot further out. So a little flick like that, and three rod lengths out with that sort of cast. I can go to four, even five rod lengths out if I wanted to. But at the moment, I've got a bit of a headwind. So it's making, it, making life tough. But we're reaching the distance, big patch of bait, get past all the bleak and the the bits and we're picking off better fish on the bottom. I think with this flow today we've been better off on the pole really for catching more fish but it's still nice to have a stick float out. You could fish a slider or a big waggler. Oh yeah. Another nice fish. These beauties, these are. I think uh, fishing like this, I find great fun. Just different from the commercial fisheries and the match fishing we do. On commercial fisheries. It's just nice, I mean, fishing 12 foot deep, 13 foot rod. I'll have to get myself a bigger rod, 14, 15 foot. I've been looking at the 17 foot ones, thinking I might get one of those, they look nice. <laughs> I took it on the drop. Bleak. They've got to be fast to take this rig on the drop. It shows you how many fish are out there fighting for the bait. Because <laughs> it's autumn, there's lots of leaves on the water as well, but having a heavy rig, bulk system, it helps get the rig through the leaves. Especially in the backwater, it's full of leaves. Still picking Northern Roach up. It's nearly 12 o'clock now and I had a lovely morning's fishing. Not pick them pound roach up again though. <laughs> we had what, what, 10 or 12 ounces of them too. It's all lovely fish. I think I'll come back and fish this peg again, I'll bring my pole. It's about uh, 10 or 12 metres out. I didn't realise how far the backwater went out here. I mean, the backwater's still out, probably five rods. Quite turbulent. If you go about um, 10 or 15 swims further down, 
the flow's closer to the bank, but... If we just pan round, you'll see there's boats there, halfway down the county hall site at the moment. Lots of boats. Another big roach. Another clunker. Another beauty. Casters get on. Put put three maggots on. See what we, see what we'll pick off. Last time we did that, we uh, picked up three nice fish. Certainly a beautiful day for October. Absolutely gorgeous. No wonder there's so many people out walking and running and cycling, rowing. So I could see a couple of people fishing as well. On the far bank. Somebody on the point around the corner through the suspension bridge. And there's somebody halfway down the embankment fishing as well. Oh, miss that. That's a 12 o'clock bell you can hear chiming. Nearly time for me to go home to get some Sunday dinner. I think we'll have one more fish and then we'll call it a day. Or well, call it the end of the morning anyway. Yeah, if you fancy fishing down here, it's free fishing. Plenty of, plenty of spaces. Oh, yeah. So, we'll finish how we started with a roach. I think we'll just have one more cast. So I think we'll just have one more, one more fish and we'll call it today. Just gone midday. It's been a lovely morning's fishing. Really enjoyed it. It just shows you how many fish are in the trunk though. If you've seen any of the previous videos, everywhere swims full of fish. Plenty of bite, bite every put in. Loads of roach, dace, bleak, chublets, thousands of perch. So I think the fish. As long as you prepare to experiment with your position of your flow a bit further out, just chase the, you know, explore the fish, have them move back. You know, if there's any perch or pike in the swim, the roach will disappear. So if it goes quiet, go a bit further out, feed another line, you can keep fish coming. I think if I was gonna, if I was gonna stay all day today, I'd really need a, Waggler, or maybe a fish of small feeder a bit further out on the edge of that flow in this swim. That's something to consider. And maybe the big roach won't actually feed till just before dark, who knows. Definitely our last fish, because of days. We'll finish on a days. Right, we've had about three and a quarter hours. It's been a lovely morning's fishing. We'll get packed away, have a quick look at what we've caught. A quick look at what we've caught. For just over three hours. Well, that is a lovely net of fish. 
Oh, we've got a look in there. Loads of red fins. Loads of dace, probably more dace than red fins. A lot of perch. We'll put them back. That's a lot of fish for three hours. That's a good quality fish as well. fish that was well i hope you enjoyed the video again i've enjoyed making it it's lovely catching fish on the stick float fish are close in line to start with caught 40 fish in that first hour second and third hours not quite as many went further out and got some bigger bigger roach in the 12 13 foot deep area of water so definitely they bit a bit spooked early on and then moved further out maybe the perch the perch sometimes sometimes can spook the roach i'm not surprised if they're constantly chasing around after them so um, but speaking to a guy here, he's been catching pike along the stretch as well. So it's not surprising the fish can be a little bit skittish, but we've ended up with probably about 80 fish in three hours. And some real quality roach as well and some nice perch. So it's been a lovely morning's fishing. Off, off them now for some Sunday dinner, but thank you very much for watching. Uh, please click the like and subscribe. I'll speak again soon. Bye for now. Biggest one so far. Lovely. Oh. Loads of red fins. Loads of dates. Probably more dates than red fins. Got a perch. Beautiful.